Hello everyone, just sharing this information today about a new Android box I just got today. So it's an HK1 uh, Android box. The HK1 Android box is a media center built to stream 4K videos at 60 FPS. Uh, FPS stands for frame per second. They have the remote, but they have connected also uh, a mouse to set up the box. So let's go and uh, check some features. Once you connect your uh, your box, you will see these applications. You have YouTube, you have other a few other applications. I mean, uh, the uh, the box is almost empty. You have to go on Google Play Store or Google Chrome and install other applications. And you also have something special for this box. It is the wallpaper. You can go and and change the background wallpaper here. Press and go to default wallpaper. And just uh, choose a picture, beautiful colors. You have files, you have applications that are installed in the box. Press apps, you will see all these apps right here. And of course, you have uh, settings. In settings, you have a lot of information here. When you get an Android box, you need to think about three things. First one, connect your box to network. You have network and internet here. When you, once you press network and internet, you will be able to select your Wi-Fi and connect using your password. And second option, accounts and sign in. So you just press add account. And it's gonna spin a little bit for a few seconds and then you will be able to enter you just follow the prompts to enter your gmail account press next password next once you press you'll, you will get this keyboard right here and to confirm for example once you enter your email you just confirm with the arrow the arrow right here and you're done and the third option and uh, one of the most important options in all devices is the system update because when you get uh, a brand new uh, box you need to update it to get the latest uh, version and you have applications in applications you have all the applications that are installed you can press see all apps to view all the apps that are installed in the box and I'm gonna share other videos in the future about how to fix problems. If you have a crashing application, not opening or something like that, you just go press the application in apps that's giving you problems and just tap clear cache. And let's go back to other features in settings. If you go to device preferences, you will see all this information right here. You have the display, you have about, in about, you have system update, device name, the status of your network, build, and so on. Input storage. And storage is going to give you details about the storage in your box. The one I ordered is 4 gigabytes of RAM, which is a lot for me, and 32 gigabytes of storage. In security and restrictions, you have unknown sources. You need to enable unknown uh, sources to be able to install uh, applications and you have reset in case you have a problem with your box you just press the reset button but you will have to set up again your box from the beginning and to your wi-fi and i mean everything and there is a plus sign on every android box you have a plus sign once you press that plus sign it's gonna prompt you to these apps right here just remove the check mark and select another one you want uh, for example let's remove this one and enable this one this is how the main screen will look like this if you remove the check mark on all these all these applications you will have your screen empty new apps so you have to go to apps and get your applications 
so it's better to get a shortcut so I'll just press the plus sign and select all the applications the ones you use a lot and as I said earlier there are two ways to install uh, uh, applications in Android devices uh, some applications are not available in Google Play Store you will be able to install them from Google Chrome look for the application enter the name of the application and put you need to add this little information for Android box APK file because it's not it's not like the application you're getting from uh, uh, Google Play Store in Google Chrome it's different you need to look for the APK file so I'm gonna share other videos about this box in the future applications and uh, other features and that's it please subscribe leave your comments if you have any questions have a good day